Hi everyone, Empress Justice here. If you'd like to check out daily readings, you can check them out on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Um, I've got them all uploaded now, so you can check that out. Um, if you'd like to check out my July 2022 reading, you can check that out on Empress Justice Tarot YouTube. On, yeah, so that's the July 2022 reading. I am going to be doing the half first quarter moon. It's not the first quarter moon reading. It's the full moon in Uttara Ashada reading. I am going to be doing that tomorrow. Usually I would do that on the first quarter, but it's a very special occasion for me on the 7th. So I'm going to be doing it on the 6th. Um, update on myself. Nothing's really happened. Um, I ran into my neighbors on the way, like I went out to the shops because the sun was just calling my name. I could not go out. It was getting ridiculous. It was like the sun was just, it was just calling me. I'm thinking if I only go out for five minutes, go out for five minutes, get some crackers. So I went out and I came back and I saw the younger daughter and the mother there. And I was pretty angry when I saw them. I'm not going to lie, but it's, I don't know. It, it's weird because the thing is, they're so, I keep saying the same thing. The thing about bullies is that they're cowards, really, because they'll talk all that shit and they'll do, you know, they'll do all this shit to you and brag about it. But as soon as you're face to face, crickets. Like it's always gaslighting, like at the most in front of your face they'll have directed conversations or gaslighting. They will never approach you to your face and say jack shit, not ever. And if they do, then they'll either run or drive off. They're not like, perps are not brave people. They're not the, the cowards. So I'm thinking, what is the point in putting all this, putting me through all this for six fucking months and you don't have the guts to say anything face to face? It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's just, cowardly but aside from that nothing's really happened I'm about to leave the house um I'm gonna leave here in about or oh, think what 20 minutes so yeah I'm about to leave here in about 20 minutes and get my hair cut finally that's why I got this on because it's like unless I'm getting my hair getting my hair right and showing nobody shit okay <laughs> I'm working with a new barber, though. Hopefully, he gets my hair right. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm I'm gonna be getting giving myself a haircut, like treating myself, right? And the Large Hadron Collider is gonna be operating today. And I know I'm making a really big deal out of this, but it is kind of a big deal when you consider that it's a scientific experiment with basically dark matter. So it, it is a pretty big deal. And the fact that Sun Sirius is conjunct. And yeah, along with the readings, I've actually talked about the significance of Sirius on my Empress Justice Tarot pages. I've actually talked about that. So if you want to know why I'm making such a big deal out of it, you can go look there. And it's not just me. It's like a lot of the uh, astrological and tarot community um, of course, the truth of community, I'm making something out of it. And they're saying that they're trying to bring in demons and stuff like that. But again, dark matter is dark matter. Um, just because it's dark matter, it doesn't mean that there are necessarily going to be demons and only demons that come through there. That's even assuming that that's what will come through there. Like, this is the truth. I'm going to be really honest with you. The gods and demons that we worship are created and maintained by us. When we put all our imagination, all our, all our emotion and all our desires into a God that we choose to worship, we are not only fortifying that God, we're creating it. And if we, if we go so far as to die for these beliefs, then we fortify that belief more. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So whatever belief we die for is a belief that we fortify. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you've seen American Gods, 
American gods are dependent upon human belief. That's what the gods are dependent on. That's what keeps them alive. Do you understand what I'm saying? It keeps them protected. And it's much the same way in real life. There are these things called egregores or magical chains, which I've talked spoken about before. And what happens is that human emotion and desire or knowledge and desire, emotion, knowledge and desire, go into these magical chains and they form these magical chains and strong hierarchy is needed in order for these chains to fully work. The right climate is needed in order for these chains to fully work, but they are chains of all the emotions and the knowledge and the desire of God knows how many people throughout several generations for thousands of years, some of them. And then you have to consider the political climates of each religion. Uh, when you really look back at religion, it, you know, it's just the newest religion always piggybacked off the older ones in order to keep that chain going. So when you consider all that, it stands to reason that the demons in this world are also created by us and by our emotions, especially by our repressed emotions. So demons can be created by us. I don't care if you create them as a witch or as a wizard, or if you create them simply by repressing your emotions. Whatever your strong negative emotions are, if you feed them or repress them enough, they start to take on a life of their own and they start to affect your life. Now, there can be occasions where other people's demons are sent to you, that can be a possibility, but if gods are created by us, then it stands to reason that demons are created by us too. Are there other beings that possibly in the dark matter? I think there is. I think it's arrogant to think that human beings are the only beings that can exist or like, you know, animals or the animals that we're familiar with are the only types of creatures that exist. I think it's arrogant to think that, but if gods can, can, can be created by us based on our imaginations and our knowledge and our feelings and our desires, if gods can be created in this way, then demons definitely can be created in this way. And again, it is possible to send other people, send, uh, you know, for other people to send their demons to you. It is possible to do that. But rest assured, they probably created them. And then you have to consider the disembodied spirits of your ancestors as well, um, which apparently don't last more than 100 years. I don't, I'm not sure about that. So there's the disembodied spirits of your ancestors that we have to consider on top of that. Apparently they don't last more than 100 years on this earth. I don't believe that. I believe they remain here until they fulfilled their purpose. And truth be told, in a person's lifetime, the ancestors might not fulfill the duties that they're supposed to fulfill and they might stay here until one of their descendants gets it right. So I don't believe that, you know, I don't personally believe that it only lasts for about a hundred years, but I don't really have a personal connection with my ancestors like that. I don't know about disembodied spirits like that. I do know they're real though, and I do know they exist. The problem is, is that when people talk about their existence, they mistake spirits for fucking electronic weapons. I used to do that with angels. They mistake spirits for um, fucking electronic weapons. Electronic weapons are being fired on people and they think it's, it's some sort of DNA activation for enlightenment. I'm thinking, no, you're being fucking attacked, bro. But yeah, when you're talking about dark matter, there's an infinite number of possibilities for creation. So to say that, you know, this CERN thing is just activating demons, for me is like, it's dark matter. You can literally create anything out of dark matter. It doesn't have to be demons. It can be angels there too. It can literally be anything, but that's assuming that the large 
hydron collide hadron collider is even there to invoke demons it could be just there to wait for it study subatomic particles that's what it could be there for it could that's what i'm saying i think we do too much and i think we kind of assume too much you know we have our imagination and the thing is what it is right is that we describe things in creative terms and it's not like we're wrong but because we don't understand scientifically what's going on we can be right about the overall picture and wrong about the semantics so for me this hadron collider being opened up or being activated for me i think they're experimenting with dark matter and i do there is a part of me that does think that yeah it might open up a portal because if you're going into literally the at the center of each atom because that's where the higgs boson is if you're going into the center of each atom then you're going into another realm basically you're you're basically taking yourself into the quantum realm or maybe even the metaphysical realm and that can open up a whole can of worms. So I don't, there's a part of me that believes that, but I'd, again, I'd rather know more about it before I make assumptions and say, oh, it's demons. Like, we don't know, we don't know. And a lot of these people who are talking about CERN, they don't study CERN. They don't, a lot of them don't study CERN. They don't do their research on CERN. They don't do their research um, particle physics. They don't do any research on what they're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just know things from a very poetic and creative and imaginative perspective because I study alchemy and I like the spiritual angle of it. So everything that I say is spiritual, creative, uh, you know, it's metaphorical in a way. But that doesn't mean I know anything about fucking particle physics, bro. I still have to study that shit. And that's the thing, a lot of people talk about demons and all the rest of it. I'm thinking, have you even studied the occult? Have you even studied demonology? Have you even studied dark matter? Have you studied particle physics? Have you started studied any of these things? Do you know about any of these things? And the thing is, I know books can lie, but if you know the terminology, then you'll be able to see through the terminology. And a lot of people don't. They just watch movies and they think, well, that's all I need to know. Do your research. Don't just make assumptions and spread around doomsday theories. You understand? We all know there's a reset going on. We all know there's a reset going on. It's obvious. It's everywhere. That you know that the powers that be are telling us what they're doing. But in order to fully understand it in real life terms, we have to understand the terminology. And we can only do that if we do our fucking research. So, yeah, man, and people just need to chill. Hang on. People just need to chill out on that. Do you understand? So, yeah. Anyway, I got to go. I got to get on with the rest of my day. I've got about 10 minutes left before I have to leave. Looking forward to getting a new haircut. I'm going to look fresh to death, bitch. I'm getting my eyebrows done too. The fuck? These need doing. So anyway, I love you guys. Take care. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.